Grey is certainly the colour of the moment. It's no longer associated with dreary days, a gloomy outlook or a serious suit. This quiet shade has shaken off its bad rap and has replaced beige as being the it neutral, now synonymous with style, sophistication and glamour. With so many shades to choose from, let's have a chat around what works and where. I'm going to start by looking at pale greys, colours like seldom seen, spotlight or snowfall, which you can see here are a great introduction to grey. They're really subtle, neutral tones that work well in any number of spaces, including kitchens and offices. They work well and the key to using them is use them with brilliant white. So Katrina, what are you seeing that works well textile-wise with these great greys? Well, here we have some examples of grey fabrics in our geometric designs, our fingy designs, but it's using different shades of grey and not being really, really particular about do the greys match. See the way we have a whole array of different greys here, just, mm -hmm. just, just like what we have here coming behind us. Because people make the mistake of trying to match everything up perfectly, <laughs> exactly the same grey on the wall with the textile, and actually it looks much more sophisticated if everything is a little bit out. Medium greys work really well when creating a cheery space. Believe me, a medium grey like Cloudburst over here works so well with yellow accents. Now, many people will be hesitant about using yellow with a grey, but I think it looks fantastic. Katrina, what are your tips for using fabric? With beautiful fabrics like this, which is lovely life, brings out the grey, but the warmth of the yellow can be used on blinds, just to throw cushion, or even a footstool. Or to cover an occasional chair. Absolutely. Because look at, look at some of these, look, look at these, they're amazing. And up against something like Cloudburst here, they look fantastic. And you see, fantastic. you know, even coming into this, and the tones of grey, no, or the this. geometric, oh, absolutely. And what a fantastic contrast to, to the, the grey. Now, if you've got loads of courage, and you want to be a little bit bolder, go for a dark grey. Something like Celestite or City Break, like this one. Mm -hmm. They're a rich, deep charcoal. Now, the way that I like to use them is with pops of lime, wonderful poppies, and of course, burnt oranges. And the burnt orange is just amazing. It's, and it's the in color at the moment. You see it on our clothes, we see it on coats, and look, look at it here now, isn't that That's, just fab? That is fantastic, I love it. You can put it onto a chair, it could be, you could use that to the front of your dining chair with the burnt orange to the back. It sits beautiful against the colours. And I love the fact, again, that we're not trying to match it up too much. It's a slightly cooler grey with a slightly bluer grey. And if you've got a south-facing room that's really bright, use a cool grey, something like Smolder here, to bring it right down. Listen, Katrina, thanks for all your help today and bringing in such fantastic fabrics.